Good morning, Koi Copter 101, and what I got for you today is a neat new review of the Ishin QX110 V-Tail. Now, looking at the back of this, you'll see that this quadcopter is different than most others in that its rear uh, motors are, are pointed upward to give it a V-shape the way the arm is. And what this does is this provides rapid turning. Uh, if you want to do rapid turns, um, this will do it because the vector, the thrust vectors, uh, when you go up like this, <laughs> give it the ability to give it that little extra oomph to turn it in yaw, in other words. Um, other than that, though, in normal flight, though, keep in mind that that rapid turning comes at a cost. What you're seeing here is if you're losing some of the lift vector, you know, the upward lifting uh, to do such. So um, keep that in mind that there's going to be extra power required of these rear motors to lift this quadcopter. And in addition to that, there's going to be extra power drain from the battery, which may cause it to lose some flight time. We'll find out here shortly if it really does affect it. Uh, it comes with a 600 milliamp hour battery, 3.7 volt uh, with a white low C connector. Uh, we can, you know, this normally gives about five minutes of flight time to most uh, quadcopters of this size and shape. We'll see if we get close to five minutes with the V-tail design. Uh, let's go from the front to the back here. It comes with a 48 channel, uh, 25 milliwatt FPV transmitter. Uh, one thing about this particular all-in-one camera transmitter is that the antenna for it is just welded, <laughs> soldered to the back of this and it can break easily. I tried to lift it up and I noticed the solder point was becoming very weak. So what I did was I took some hot melt glue and put it on top of that <laughs> to prevent it from breaking. So don't mess around with that antenna is what I'm saying folks. Leave it the way it comes to you because there is a good chance that you will break that antenna. It comes with an Omnibus, all in, or Omnibus F3 uh, Pro uh, flight control board set the beta flight 3.0.1 loaded onto it um, additionally it comes with 8520 motors and finally one neat thing about it it comes with this LED uh, bar on the back with Larson scan you know the Cylon uh, Centurion right and left by your command scan so that's pretty neat too and take note and I've had a lot of coffee this morning, folks, so my hands are a little bit shaky, so I'm probably going to be pinching on my uh, controllers. So <laughs> let's go for a flight of the QX110 and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, there's one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, the on-screen, this has on-screen display. And with that on-screen display, you can actually modify settings of the quadcopter simply by taking your controller, moving the stick to the right and up. In other words, right up. And that should set on-screen display and there we go. I think we're in on-screen display. And you use the right stick to move up and down on the on-screen display and adjust various settings. And one of these settings, you go into features. Actually, let's come out of that one. Uh, configuration IMU. Go in there and you can actually adjust pitch settings. You know, and uh, you know, if the quadcopter's not flying to your you know how you like it, you can go in there and set various pitch settings, and you can save that to various profiles. Um, one, two, zero, one, two, three, and four. And you can adjust the rates right? also. Um, aircraft preview. Uh, this shows the stick commands, you know, how the stick commands are working with this. And miscellaneous, gyro loop. Some of these I have no idea what they are, but it has a lot of settings, folks. So keep that in mind that you can actually adjust this in the field to go. Uh, as you wish to you know make it fly better okay I'm breaking out of that let's just go right into the flight of this right now I have this set up let's see armed and I'm going to acro mode to get us into the air I also have air mode by the way folks or, or, yeah, I do have air mode but we're gonna fly an acro let's go and give it a flight and see how it performs with stock settings whoops can you go get that for me huh? make sure all the props are on there They're on there. Put it back down again. That was unusual. It just flipped right over. Let's try again. I'm going to start off in angle mode. Angle mode this time. Make sure it flies. <laughs> that was unusual. I have no idea why that did that. Boy, is it, it's a little bit wobbly in angle mode. It's actually a, quite a bit wobbly in angle mode. 
So yeah, maybe this needs its pit settings adjusted out of the box here. Uh, look at that wobble. Whoops. Uh, this isn't encouraging. Let's try Acro one more time. This time, I'm, I'm not going to give it any uh, movement of the pitch and roll until I get into the air and see if that helps. It. Arming the quadcopter and going up. Look at it wobble. <laughs> I'm not giving it any commands at all, but it, it's wobbling. It definitely needs pins adjusted. Okay, let's get some speed on it. Whoa. Um, I think they got standard pids in this thing. They got to keep in mind this is a V-tail, which is going to fly very differently. Okay, I, when I'm turning, it seems to be okay, <laughs> but if I try to level off any, it gets weird on me with lots of wobble. Let's get it up higher so less of a chance to crash. We're gonna fly it high, folks. See how it behaves. Oh, 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 oh. So yeah, it's a good thing that you can adjust the pins. Um, I am going to, well, well, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. <laughs> but uh, this is the stock pins and they're not very good. Oh, I hope I didn't hit too hard. Okay, Quadcopter 101 back again. Um, it's another day, as you can see. Uh, the PIDs on the QX110, when I attempted to fly them uh, the other day, they were just unflyable. And I even tried to adjust them uh, using the on-screen display, and I just couldn't get it to work. So, a good resource for all of you out there, if you're not aware of this already, is rcgroups.com. I went on to rcgroups.com, and I found uh, a post it's covering the QX110 in detail and included PIDs to help make it flyable. It's a post by Sebi Docky. I'll include the link down below to that specific post for others that may run into problems with this quadcopter. But uh, I'm attempting to fly his PIDs here today. Uh, hopefully that will improve the flight worthiness of this aircraft. Uh, it wasn't hard to change. Uh, it's just that I didn't have the time to, to actually do a lot of uh, iterative adjustments of the pits to get it to fly just right. Sometimes other people uh, actually do, do a better job than myself because uh, I'm very poor at adjusting pits. <laughs> okay, I'll admit that. So let's go for a flight with the adjusted pits. First off, let me show you those pits since we can do that with this particular quadcopter by moving the throttle to the right and moving the pitch up and going into the pits menu, which is in configuration and selecting right and selecting pit. And these are the pits that I've adjusted into the quadcopter, uh, that I've put into the quadcopter. Again, thanks to Sebi Docky. Thank you, Sebi. I'll give you credit on that one. <laughs> give it and include a link to your post. So, so let's go back and back and exit. And let's go for a flight of this quadcopter. Okay, let it readjust itself. And arming. Okay, I had to adjust something real quick there. Uh, let's see, we are an acro and armed. Let me make sure we are an acro. We are an acro and armed, and away we go. With the adjusted pids. Well, it's not perfect, but much better, much more flyable than before. Okay, let's see if, we can come, if I can come down low with this thing. Bring it close by us. Let's go around the trees now. See if it can be done. Yes, it can. Thank you, Sebi. <laughs> come to my rescue there. Let's see here. Let's come by. Let's give it some speed now. Let's see if we can make a fast turn with it. Yes. All right. So yes, um, again, for those of you that are new to this hobby or were not, or are not unaware of RC Groups, I strongly recommend that you uh, research rcgroups.com. I'll include a link to it down below. But um, it is your source in case you run into problems. You know, if you got issues with your quadcopter, uh, I made it through there. <laughs> 
Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I don't know what I did there. Let's go up higher. Let's see if we can do a, an acro with it. You know, they're not perfect bids, but they are flyable. One more time. Okay, there we go. One more time. Okay. Now, going through the trees again. Not real fast through the trees. <laughs> now, you know, this quadcopter again loses a lot of its lift um, by the, the V-tail. And the V-tail, again, is to, I'm not sure what the V-tail is for, to tell you the truth. I think it's to make it uh, turn faster, can it do rolls <laughs> very fast, and also can um, rapid yaw turns, but they are a little bit wobbly. I, uh, the pids just aren't right for the what. For rapid yaw turns yet but they will be i guess people will adjust this further but right now it is flyable before it was not flyable at all and that makes you wonder you know why do they release something without <laughs> checking to make sure it can fly <laughs> okay i'm checking my on-screen display we had 3.2 volts so we are let's see if we can get some range out of this we'll go around these trees here that's good range on it then if i can go through those trees Come back through these trees now, close by us. Let's go around the pole. And around the pole, that's good range too. And let's get down close to the ground now. Try high speed close to the ground. Well, yeah, it still needs a little bit more adjustment on these pids, but they're flyable now. <laughs> they were not flyable before. But interesting new quadcopter, V-tail design. Uh, okay, I hear my beeper. That's my beeper, and I went below. I wasn't paying attention. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll go get that now. Let me turn off. Let's see if I can. I turned off my transmitter so I can hear it beeping. It has a beeper. Did I, I don't know if I forgot to mention that to you folks. To help you find it. <laughs> I was not paying attention to my voltage. And I heard that beeper at the last second there. But uh, here it is. My dog helped me find it. <laughs> but that's the flight of the QX110. Um, see? You adjust the pids and you can get it into the air, but uh, unfortunately the stock pids that comes with it, again, are not flyable. Uh, but that's not a big deal in that you can easily adjust those pids. I'm sure in the future here, in very short uh, order, other people will be refining those pids even further to make this a much better flyer. So, you know, keep in mind, you know, that this flight here was just a demonstration with a first iteration of pids for this particular quadcopter, and then there will be follow-on iterations, I'm sure. So hope you enjoyed that flight of the QX110. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.